Well, you you uh, asked us uh, asked you know asked if you want, we wanted to do a shirt, and uh, and then we were walking down the street, and we just arrived in New York, and it was when uh, when the, the Occupy thing was going on, mm. and we were like thinking about rich and poor and one percent and stuff, and then we and then it was just kind of like we just came up with the idea. Uh, one was expensive stains, and then one was poor stains, and then we were just kind of thinking about. Uh, what an expensive stain and what a poor stain was like a big mistake could be an expensive stain or like organic carrot juice could be an expensive stain and then poor stains could also be like a mum dying of cancer from smoking and that would be a cigarette butt or an economically poor food stain like I don't know like cheap mustard Where are you from originally? Uh, from London, South London and you grew up skateboarding? Yes, I did, yeah. At South Bank, mid to late 80s. Who'd you skate with? Curtis McCann, Paul Shires, who's, who's, still, who's still going strong. Um, Ed Loftus, uh, Matt Stewart, who's a, a photograph street photographer now. Oh, it was amazing. S street skating was just coming out. And yeah, it was awesome. It was just a really great time. Really, uh, it was very, skateboarding was very artistic at that point. Kind of like, yeah, a lot of Dinosaur Jr. and Gons drawing on grip tape. I rode for uh, New Deal. I have a part in the Useless Wooden Toys video right at the end. I remember when I went on tour with uh, Ed Templeton. He was like a hero. I mean, I, 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 have, I have issues with my skateboarding. I, I always thought I was like an ignorant specialist. Like I had a few tricks and making art is kind of a way for me to sort of like be better at something than I was at skateboarding. <laughs> well, I mean, it was it was wild because it was like I had like it was like I had two paths in front of me. I wanted to be a writer, so I was gonna go to university, and uh, and and like kind of like do do that path. And then my friend Ed was in America, was and he was like, oh, he wants this guy wants to uh, Tony Pro. I never heard of the skateboard company or anything, and uh, and I was just like. What should I do? And I thought, oh, I'll just go to America for like a little bit, you know, and then I'll go back to school. And, and then I just ended up staying in San Francisco. Met a girl, got married, got divorced, stayed. I mean, basically, uh, kind of lost interest in it after uh, less than a year, really. And then basically, <laughs> then just trying to figure out what to do next. I worked in a tea shop. <laughs> making sandwiches, an English tea shop making sandwiches. I just bought a sketchbook one day and then just started doing art and then had a, a sh art show at the Adobe Books and then Jack Hanley saw the show and then took the work to Miami and then that was, that was it. It was, just came out of nowhere, you know. By that time I was working in a pie shop and then, I, and then he told me I should stop my job at the pie shop and then just do art. That was it, really. I just had a show uh, in Dusseldorf uh, the Kunsthalle there, and that was a, uh, a show with uh, us and uh, Faustrom, Ovid Faustrom, um, who's a big hero, and that was awesome. Earlier this year, there was a, a solo show at the Mudam Museum in Luxembourg, which was a big show. You know, when you go through uh, immigration and you know, come into America, they ask you what you do, and I would say, I'm an artist, and they ask you, what medium do you use? And I say collage, and then I say it's maps, lists, and diagrams. That's kind of what I say to them. <laughs>